Many thanks for staying with us. No fewer than 721 billion naira was received as bribe by Nigerian public officials in 2023. A report by the National Bureau of Statistics said the 721 billion naira paid in bribe amounts to about 0.35% of Nigeria's gross domestic product. The result was based on a survey conducted with the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. According to the survey, the average cash bribe was 8,000 naira, 8,284 8, naira, an increase from an average of 5,754 naira in 2019. It also noted that bribery is more common in rural areas, with rural residents paying an average of 5.8 bribes compared to 4.5 bribes in urban areas. The report added that corruption was ranked fourth among the most important problems affecting the country in 2023 after the cost of living, insecurity and unemployment. Joining us to discuss this is our public affairs analyst, Theophilos Akatuba. Uh, Theophilos, it's nice to have you join us to talk about this. It's a pleasure to join you this evening and uh, good evening to you. Okay, so uh, looking at the social political events that played out in 2023, were you surprised at the reports uh, that Nigerian public officials received 7 to 1 billion naira uh, in bribe? Not surprised at all. I still feel that it's underestimated. That's the real economy in Nigeria, the economy of bribe taking, uh, invoice inflating. Uh, inflating. It's a big, actually the biggest economy in my estimation. So it didn't come to me as a surprise. I'm impressed that they're able to pin it down to a modest figure, such as 721 billion. Uh, so yeah, are you are you suggesting it could be way above that? Far, far above that. Mm. This is what they're able to track. There's so much that went underground and very below and under, under, underground. <laughs> uh, okay, Almost well... A common uh, practice. It, it, can you believe it? That even within the government, they pay bribe to themselves. This is not about Nigeria. I'm telling you that within government, just imagine, the government of government trying to assess its own budget, we have to pay to the people in charge of finance and movement of money to be able to... It's a mess. Mm -hmm. We have a long way to go. Mm. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Uh, now, Theophilos, let's, let's tie it down, pin it down to some, you know, um, some areas. Now, 31,000 judges and magistrates, according to the report, accepted bribe last year. Uh, now, is this a mere coincidence? Is this a mere coincidence or this actually corroborates the several allegations that have been leveled against the judiciary of conniving with state and non-state actors um, to subvert justice? I, I, used to, I used to doubt corruption in the judiciary until I began to interact with lawyers, not, not ordinary lawyers, lawyers of, of, of repute, of status. The stories they told Punity, and in fact, the confidence with which they, they operate and they, they, they corrupt themselves. I couldn't recover for a long time. This is true. I always say that this report is good, an eye-opener, but it's a modest representation of what the reality is. Now, now when you look at the previous administration, the past administration, and this current administration, uh, one thing was actually constant in their uh, propositions. Uh, they actually vowed to deal decisively with corruption in the country. Now, we have the EFCC, we have ICPC, and other law enforcement agencies. Now, with all these um, at their beck and call, uh, does it seem as though they've actually failed woefully in dealing with the issue of corruption, or maybe uh, there are some um, bottlenecks that is actually inhibiting um, the tackling of corruption from the grassroots down to the top. Thank you very much. I think uh, President Buhari, in my opinion, uh, did not do enough in terms of what it, it needed to do to stem corruption across the country, especially in institutions such as the police, the judiciary, I am of the opinion, and I've always had that opinion, that if we want to fight corruption in Nigeria, 
and conquer corruption. You've got to reform the police, the judiciary, and the media. You must strengthen the media. If these three institutions are supported and reformed and uh, promoted, we'll have a better, a better bite at the fight against corruption. The current president is not promising. There's no direct open talk about fighting corruption as a cardinal promise. But the report we hear is that there are, they are doing, you're using technology to try to stem and reduce corruption. The bottleneck, the very bottleneck against corruption are the very people that you have enlisted to fight it. The very corrupt people are the same people. The public officials are the corrupt ones who have taken 721. They are the same people that are the agents of government to fight corruption. So you see how difficult it can be. Hmm. Uh, so um, to be very realistic, uh, Theophilus, from how the leadership at the center, of course, with the president's cabinet, how they've portrayed themselves um, in the last uh, one year. Uh, you've talked about, you know, reforming the police and other security agencies, but then let's look at the executive, let's look at the legislature too. Do you think that corruption can be eliminated to uh, totally um, from these arms of government? And how? And how not do you think not, that can not, even not, be done? It, it, can, it, it can be... If we, if we are determined to do so. But it's difficult for us to be so determined when the very people that you want to fight are the same people who will be at the forefront of the fight. And so it's a very tough, difficult matrix. It takes, it's going to take a long time, a long time of consciousness, of orientation. You know, we are very sentimental, we are very ethnically rooted. We are very religiously positioned. Everyone is protecting his corrupt friend and brother. And anyone who falls victims is looking for who to rescue them and who to take a bribe and be bribed. It's a very, you know, complex way. Hmm. Very complex indeed. Um, Theophilus at Katsuda, it was nice talking to you. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us.